All right, guys, we're back, and I'm making this video because Drayton wants to see the video of 30 puppies. <laughs> you can really, honestly, you can do it with 50 or 60 of them. Uh, that girl, Cher, was able to do it in a class setting. Obviously, I don't give classes, so I don't even let people come to my house, Drayton, <laughs> if they want to come over. And if they say, do you come to my house? I said, no. The only person who could get me to their house was James Seneff, and he was only there for like 15 minutes. It was awful. After that, I said, I'm never going back. Um... But I do think people need the squirrels right there in the tree. Molly's trying to get it. I, I think what people need to understand about a default down is one, it isn't going to go away. You're not going to be able to get rid of it. Um, and when you're installing behaviors as a default, oh, look at it, look at it. Pre! Yay! The default is becoming who the dog is. Oh yeah, Molly's been watching. And Molly's been out there ha baying that thing up in the tree for about 45 minutes. She's been out here all morning. Why it chose then to make its break. You can see it's a young, they're stupid. If, if it does that when the Doberman's out here, it's gonna be a goner. Anyway, but if you install a behavior as a default in a dog, they believe that's who they are, not who you want them to be. And so that's why it's never going to go away. They believe that's who they are. So this dog is a very young puppy, had a default installed by virtue of a seated handler. So if the handler sat down, the dog laid down. There was no verbal cue. There was nothing. There was nothing. There was nobody telling the dog to lay down. The behavior was just rewarded as a default. So this dog is about uh, maybe not quite a year and a half old. And if you said, how long will it keep doing that? It'll do it forever. It doesn't know any other behavior. He thinks that's who he is. So by and this, honestly, I'm going to talk to Courtney about this as far as, like, the service dog thing. You're not... And if you said, one, the dog is facing the handler. If the handler gets up, I can get the dog on the platform. Or, honestly, people need to develop methodologies more for the seated handler. If the handler sits back down... So if you said, what is the requirement of the handler for this? The handler has to sit down. That's the handler's only job. I'm not even looking at the dog. I can get it back up on the platform. If you said, oh, how are you com communicating? Oh, it's all implied. It's all implied. It's all the dog believing that's who it is. If, and if you said, well, can we sit any handler down? Yes, except for man. He's like man. <laughs> but it's, it's going to continue to do this forever. It's, and if you ask the dog, why do you do that? He would say... One, I was very early successful with this behavior, so I didn't even try any other avenue, like jumping on them or any of those things. Very early on, I achieved success here, and so I said to myself, and if you said, what precursors can you add? You can add this. And if you said, well, so you're just, it's a totalitarianism sort of thing. He's looking at my, he doesn't need the verbal part, but he believes that's who he is. He believes he lays down when people sit down. You know, you can just keep doing it all day long. And if you said, if I came there, could I get the dog to, absolutely, absolutely. You definitely have, you know. I, you know, I think you're one of the smarter dog trainers, right? And you're an intellectual, and, and dog training does need that. But handlers are weak. I don't, I, don't, I don't care what anybody says. I see you guys, handlers. They're weak. If you said, what can a weak handler do? A weak handler can sit down. This dog will do this forever. Oh, he's a tremendous companion. And he will. He's got all the basic obedience. He's got commanded behaviors. 
but that appears in this dog as a default. So the absence of, you've got to understand, if the dog is in the absence of You know, we can't say a dog in the absence of a verbal command by the handler doesn't have particular behaviors. Yeah, honestly, you, you, it's, it's, it's scary how well it works. Once he sees I'm sitting down, he goes back to me. So I installed this in this dog. I could probably go back. Every, every bit of training of this dog is on video. I could probably go back and find the initial video where I did it. And if you said, what is the key? The handler only has to sit down and the handler needs to reward the dog without saying, anything or looking at the dog. But uh, you've also got, he's trained for obedience. Okay, he's got nice tight turns. He turns this way. He backs up. He goes on the platform. Sit down. I'm just gonna check. It's, you've got to do it with a seated handler. You've got to do it with a seated handler. And if you said, I don't want a dog that lays down when I sit down, my answer, my question would be, why? It's the best way. And these, honestly, these people are sitting down a lot. If it's a companion dog, their vision of the dog is they're sitting on their couch watching movies and the dog is laying down by them. This dog also has a shape. Retrieve. And if you said, is that ever going to go away? It's not ever going to go away either. And it, it was, it was it started as a shaped behavior, but it does now appear as a default in the dog. Whereas the down was started as a default. I didn't shape the behavior. It just, I just, it occurred as a default. And so I rewarded it. All right, hang on. He's not steady. So you can have the standing or seated handler for this. Oh, just dang the dog. And the default is for the dog always to deliver to the handler. But I think I installed that default down in this dog when it was about. When it was about young. So that was a commanded behavior. And if I want the dog to lay back down. That's why you could have a whole class. That girl Cher had a whole class of them doing it. So I know you could too. The key is to really not look at the dog or not say anything. It's just occurring as a default. Anyway, that was the video. So I, I got to run through these training dogs. I just squeeze that in real quick. Cause I don't want to be one of these people who talks crazy smack and then nothing to back it up. But I don't do classes straight. But you could do it. You could get every single one of your handlers if you had to work with them individually, getting the dog do it. And then you could do like a musical chairs thing. Oh, here's what you could do. Oh, this would be fun. Then you could do like a musical chairs thing and then tell everybody, sit down. Oh, no, here, I got it. I got it. Sit down. And then, who's ever dog lays down first? If their dog doesn't lay down, you jerk the chair out from under them. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, so, you know, that'd be kind of fun. If you had them walking around with the dog, everybody's walking around, everybody's walking around, and then they sit down in the chair, and then who's ever dog laid down the fastest? And see, now I, I got myself in trouble by adding that other precursor. Oh, I get last place. And I did verbally reward that. But I installed it in that dog, Parker. And if you said, why? Well, because one, is a terrible jumper. Two, the owner had no capacity to get a commanded down. It was, the dog wasn't gonna, the dog was not gonna do a commanded down for this owner. Yeah. 
No, you remember this puppy, uh, Chelsea Pre. I've trained him since he was a little puppy, and I can go probably go back. There's probably a video called Installing the Default Down, but it's never going to go away. It's not going to go away. You're not going to be able to get rid of it, and that's what people need to understand. If you inadvertently install other defaults, like every time you sit down, the dog starts dropping a ball in your lap, or like Lisa's dog jumping in the middle of your lap and breaking your Kindle, you know, then that's... You don't, it's not going to have a default behavior. If you said, what's my default behavior? Oh, going over by the computer. Remember I told you that one time the cable went out. And even though I knew the cable was out, I still started putting my finger over the thing. Trying to make, just putting my finger on the thing, trying to make it go. Even though I knew it wasn't going to. I couldn't stop my finger from going. I was like that typing cat. I'm surprised I didn't start doing that. <laughs> All right, hang on. I'm going to run through these training dogs. I'm going to be back with that deaf puppy, which is doing great. And it's teaching me a lot. It's teaching me a lot. I'll be right back.